In this video, I'm going to take you through the Kyber network and show you how to trade with KyberSwap. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Kyber Network is a decentralized way to exchange ETH and different ERC20 tokens instantly with no waiting, deposits, or KYC required. To do this, Kyber uses a diverse set of liquidity pools, or pools of different crypto assets called reserves, that any project can tap into or integrate with. So instead of using order books to match buyers and sellers to return the best price, the Kyber protocol looks at all the reserves and returns the best price among the different reserves. So the basic function of Kyber is for instantly swapping tokens without registering an account, which anyone can do with an Ethereum wallet such as Metamask. But there are other functions too. Users can also create their own reserves and contribute funds to a reserve. However, that process is still a fairly technical one, something Kyber is working on making easier for users in the future. And their mission has always been to integrate with other protocols, so they focused on being developer-friendly by providing architecture to allow anyone to incorporate the technology onto any smart contract-powered blockchain. As a result, a variety of different dApps, vendors, and wallets use Kyber's infrastructure. But they also include dApps and the Coinbase wallet. But besides these, Kyber also integrates with other exchanges, such as Uniswap, sharing liquidity pools between the two protocols. Plus, they have their own token, Kyber Network Crystals, or KNC, and that's named after the crystals in Star Wars used to power lightsabers. And they have plans on a major protocol upgrade called Catalyst, which will create new incentives and grow opportunities for all the stakeholders in their ecosystem, especially for the KNC holders. The upgrade will mean more use cases for KNC, including to use KNC to vote on governance decisions through a decentralized organization called the Kyber DAO. So let's take a look at their core element for token swaps now, which is Kyber Swap. So you'll see that there's some tabs along the top here, and the first one we're gonna look at is Swap. And we'll go ahead and swap or exchange our tokens in a moment, but if we just scroll down, I just wanted to show you that they also have promo codes where you can redeem gift cards. They've got live price and chance. Plus you can even buy ETH with Fiat using debit or credit card, bank transfers, and other mobile payments too. So if you didn't have any ETH to trade with, you can purchase some. And to provide the purchase ETH with Fiat service, KyberSwap has integrated with Taurus, a third-party service provider. The intern offers various purchase ETH options, which are done by the likes of MoonPay and Wire. But the first thing you'll need to do is have an Ethereum wallet. And you can connect with the likes of Metamask, Ledger, Trezor, Taurus, the Coinbase Wallet or Wallet Connect. And if you want to swap your tokens with KyberSwap, you can easily trade more than 70 tokens, including stable coins, DAI, USDC, USDT, Digital Gold, DGX, as well as the likes of Maker, Link, KNC, SNX, and Wrap Bitcoin. And in this example, I'm going to be converting from Ethereum to the KNC token. So if I select Ethereum, and I'm going to be choosing KNC. And the amount of KNC tokens that I would like are 370. So it then provides me with the amount of ETH that I'll need to pay for those tokens. Or you could have reversed this and put in the amount of ETH that you'd like to spend for your tokens. Then when you want to go ahead, you can click on to swap now. And it will then prompt you to connect your wallet to swap. And as I said, there's a few different Ethereum wallets that you can connect to. But for this example, I'm going to be connecting up my MetaMask wallet. And now that's connected, it shows me my ETH balance, and it then shows me my rate at the bottom here. And if I go to Advanced, in here you can change the gas fee if you wish. And you can also put in a clause in here that you're happy to still proceed if the rate goes down by 3%, or you can also customise this. So this is really handy in case the market is particularly volatile. And when you're happy, you can go ahead and swap now. 
It then gives me a confirmation, so it shows me information about my swap. It tells me what I'm swapping from and to, and then it gives me my transaction fee. I'm going to go ahead and confirm. And as you can see, that's now going through. And we just have to wait for the transaction to be mined. And that's taken literally a couple of seconds for that swap to occur. And if I then go across to my wallet on the right hand side of the screen, you can see that my new token exchange or my KNC tokens are now appearing within my wallet. So that was swap, but if we take a look at transfer, in here you can transfer your funds to a specific address. And then it gives me the option to choose 25, 50% or 100% of my balance. And then there's an option for limit orders. So KyberSwap allows you to set non-custodial limit orders too, so that you don't have to wait or monitor volatile crypto markets 24 seven, and you can place orders to buy or sell at the rate that you define. And when you click on to limit orders, you'll see here that it's more of a familiar design to the likes of Coinbase Pro. Now what's interesting about creating a limit order in a decentralized exchange is that you don't have to deposit any funds. Normally with a centralized exchange, you have to deposit and withdraw, costing you fees. However, KyberSwap have eliminated all of this so that you can create a limit order just by connecting your wallet. And you'll be paying fees as little as 0.1% for successful limit orders. And it sounds a bit strange that you're not depositing funds, but basically at a technical level, a user signs the transaction, allowing the KyberSwap smart contract to swap the token on the user's behalf at the rate and the quantity set. With the signed contract, once limit order conditions are met, KyberSwap will broadcast the transaction to the Ethereum network. Now, one thing to mention is that with limit orders, you do need to create an account. And this involves providing an email address or linking up a Gmail account, Facebook, Twitter, or Telegram. And once you're logged in, if you're not already connected to a wallet, you'll be prompted to connect. Now, one thing to make you aware of is that when you connect your Trezor and Ledger in MetaMask using import hardware in MetaMask, you won't be able to place a limit order by importing your MetaMask wallet. However, it will work without any issue if you import your Trezor and Ledger directly to submit your limit order. So usually I use MetaMask and connect my Ledger through that. However, this time I'm going to be connecting directly to my Ledger. And now we can go ahead and choose a token pair that we want to swap from the right hand side here. And in this example, I'll choose ETH and REN. And when I do so, you'll see that the right hand side of the screen is now populated with the information for this pairing. So we have the market on the far left here. It tells me my 24 hour change, the last price, 24 hour high and low, also the volume. Then underneath you have some indicators and some charts that you can view over specific periods of time. And as you can see from here, there's no fee for limit orders when you hold 2000 KNC in your wallet. Then at the bottom of the screen here, you'll see any of your limit orders and that's split between your open orders and your order history. Then if you wanna go ahead and buy your crypto, the first thing you wanna do is enter in the price that you'd like to pay. So because this is a limit order, we can define the price that we're happy with. And it will automatically bring down the last price. As you can see, this matches the price that's showing up here and also under your markets. So you may wish to pay slightly less than the current price. And then you state the amount that you would like to purchase. And it also shows us our fee in here as well. And that works out to be about 23 cents. And when you're happy, you can go ahead and buy REN. You'll then need to approve your token. And when you're placing a limit order, you're actually placing this with WETH, which is wrapped Ethereum. And that is pegged one-to-one -one with Ethereum. So as you can see here, it states that my order cannot be submitted because my wrapped Ethereum is not enough. And it's asking me to convert my Ethereum to wrapped Ethereum. I'm then presented with a buy rent order and it gives me a breakdown. So it shows me my pair. It tells me my price, the amount, my total and the fee. If I just go ahead and confirm, 
and now you can see that's a success. So if I press on to done, and if I check out my open orders, you can see that my order is now appearing in the list. And you will then need to wait for your order to be filled. And I've just received an email notification about five minutes later, stating that my order has been filled. So if we go to my order history, you'll see some information with regards to my order. So we can see the date, the pair, the type of order that I placed, the price, the amount, my total, and how much I received. And then it shows that my status is filled. Now, if you wanted to sell your tokens as well, that would be done in exactly the same process. But now if we head over to our portfolio. So again, if you haven't already imported your wallet, you can do so from here. So from here, you can view your Ethereum balances. You can have a look at your distribution of your different types of assets. You can view each different type of token balance and your portfolio performance over time. And there's also some transaction history showing in here as well. Then you have the option to buy Ethereum. Now I'm not going to cover this as you actually need to create a Taurus wallet to do so. However, if you'd like me to cover this in the future, then please feel free to put that in the comments below. Then finally, we'll just take a look at our profile and go to our settings. And because I've created that account to create that limit order earlier, I also have some other options available as well. So I can create things like alerts, which I can do if I connect my Telegram, or I can do that via email. And I can also set trend notifications from here as well, as well as enabling two-factor authentication into here. And Kyber has also released its iOS app and Android app to allow users to trade crypto on the go. Just connect your wallet once and enjoy the simplicity of token swaps and price alerts on your phone. So that was an overview of the Kyber network. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.